write in algebraic form. Solution. So the first step in a problem like this is to call the inside piece theta. So we let theta be equal to what's inside. So arc sine of a minus b over c. The next thing you do is you rewrite this using the regular trig function. So the arc sine takes a minus b over c and sends it to theta. So that means that the sine of theta is equal to a minus b over c. The next step is to draw a triangle. So we use so ka toa. So in this case, it's opposite over hypotenuse. So we draw a little triangle. Here's theta. So the side opposite of theta is O. So that will be A minus B. And the hypotenuse will be C. So now we have to solve for the other side, so we'll call that X. So quick recap. The very first thing you do is call the inside piece theta. So we did that here. So the arc sine takes a minus b over c to theta, so sine takes theta back to a minus b over c. Then you use so katoa, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite is a minus b. The hypotenuse is c. Call the other side anything you want, we called it x. Now we use the theorem of Pythagoras. So it says that c squared is equal to a minus b squared plus x squared. And we use this to solve for x. So to solve for x, we can subtract a minus b squared from both sides. So minus parentheses a minus b squared. These cancel, so we get c squared minus parentheses a minus b squared equals x squared. And to finish, you just take the square root on both sides. So square root, square root. So we get x equals, I'm putting the x over here. And you do get a plus or minus, but we only take the plus because x is the length of a side of a triangle. So we end up with this. Now I like to go back and fill in the triangle. So c squared minus a minus b squared. We're almost done. So again, really quick recap. First thing you do is you call this theta. So that's the step here. So the arc sine takes a minus b over c to theta, so the sine takes theta back to a minus b over c. You so katoa, so o over h. So that's your opposite, that's your hypotenuse. Boom, call this x. Use the theorem of Pythagoras to solve for x. You do some math, you get x, fill in the triangle. Boom, now we're done. The very last step is to rewrite the question. So we have cosine of arc sine of a minus b over c. Well, that's the same thing as cosine of theta, right? Because we said that this inside piece here, right, this beast here, this inside piece, this creature is theta. And then so katoa, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So katoa, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent is the x. So that's going to be square root c squared minus parentheses a minus b squared. And the hypotenuse is C. And so that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.